it was the blood. Wow. All right. It's already been confirmed. Yes, Lord. Through the, through the praise and the worship. Yes. That I know it was the blood. All right. Look at your neighbor on the left and the right and say, I know, I know. it was, it was the, blood. the blood. I know. I know it was, it was. It was. The, blood. the blood. Reading this passage of scripture, it made me think so much about the things God has done for us always, already. Because I know without the shedding of blood, there would be no remission of sins, there would be no forgiveness, there'd be no life, there'd be no existence. There would be no way out, there would be no joy, there would be no peace, there would be no satisfaction, there would be a, anything for us to look for in life if it wasn't for the blood. Yeah. One of the things in life the enemy is after is your knowledge. Because we always got to know, or we always have to be, I call it a KIP person, a KIP person. Knowledge is power. Uh -huh. You go on your job, the first thing they do is train you how to be or uh, whatever you're supposed to be, or what, yes. whatever job, or whatever occupation that you're doing. If you climb poles, they'll teach you how to climb poles. If you can be a consultant, they'll teach you how to be a consultant. If you're a real estate agent, they teach you how to be a real estate agent. You have to know how to do the job and be able to fulfill because they put expectations on you. They put yes. stipulations on you that you have to do this this way or this in this way in order for us to say that you can stay on the job. And the enemy is after your knowledge, the same thing, the knowledge of God, of who you know who you, he is. And one thing about knowing is that you gain, you gain, you gain the, the experience, you gain the knowledge, you gain the knowing of how to do something or when to do it. Amen? Amen. You even in your marriage, you gotta get to know your partner, you gotta talk, you gotta communicate in order to make a good marriage. Even in the church, you have to know, even the Bible says you gotta know those that labor among you. You gotta know yes. who you go to church with. You gotta know the saints of God. You gotta know in friendship when you begin to gain, when you begin the game of friend, you gotta know that friend. You gotta establish a relationship with that friend. You gotta talk, you gotta communicate. You just don't come into a relationship or a friendship and know somebody. You gotta gain knowledge of who that you're hooking up with. Amen. Mm -hmm. You also got to know all these things because it takes time. Even in the court, when you go to a courtroom to testify, they don't ask you, uh, uh, "Did you hear it?" You got to see. You got to know what you saw. In a, in a court of law, They're, when you get on the stand, they, you can't say, I heard it. You gotta say, I know it. So you got to know. Knowledge is power. You got to be a kid person. And the enemy comes against that. He comes against the knowledge. He comes against who you are. Even Jesus, when he was with his disciples, he asked him, who do you say that I am? You've been with me such a long time. Now who do you say I am? God wanted to know, do you know who I am? Right. I've been here with you a long time. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm asking you today, do you know who Jesus is? Yeah. Have you been walking with Jesus for a long time? And yet, do you know who he is? Do you know who God is? Okay. Do you know what he's able to do? Do you know he's a healer? Yeah. Do you know he's a way maker? Yeah. Do you know he's a heart? Come on now. Do you know he's Jehovah Jack? Yes. We say all these things, but do you know who God is? Do you know he's God? Do you know he got all power? Come on. That when the enemy comes in, like a flood. Do you know that he'll lift up the steps against you? Do you know who God is? Or do are we just coming to church? Are we just reading the scriptures? You talking good. Or do we know the scriptures? Come on, Robert. Uh oh. Do we know? Uh oh. Come do we know him? Mm -hmm. We hear the songs all the time. Mm -hmm. I know it was the blood. Uh -huh. But do you know it was the blood? Yeah. Do you know there's power in the blood? That's uh -huh. good. That's good. Do you know that this blood never loses its power? Uh -huh. 
profess, but don't do you know there. what cost that blood? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I come to ask you this morning. Do you know? Yeah. I began to meditate on that myself. I said, God, I've been serving you for a mighty long time. Come on. But do I really know who you are? Yeah. Do I trust you? Come on. Do I trust him when hell is barking at my door? Oh, do I trust him? Oh, do I know that he will make the hell hell succeed, subside? All right. Do I know that? Come on. Do I know when my body is rocking with pain, when my back is hurting me so bad? Do I know that he's a healer? Yeah. Do I know he's able to heal me? Yeah. Do I know he's able to show up on the scene and be the healer that he yeah. said he is? Well, do I know you? Do I know you? I'm not asking you the question. I'm asking myself the question. Do I know him? Do I know he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly that which he's asked or think? Come on. Do I know him? You say it all the time. I know him. I know he can do it. I know he's able. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they was in the fire and furnace. Before they even took them in, they said, I know he's able. But they said, even if he don't. Can we get some people that say, even if he don't, I still know he's able. Even if he don't move when I think he should move. Even if he don't heal my body when I think he should heal my body. I still know. Begin to sit there and meditate on that thought, no. Because we quote Jeremiah all the time. That he knows the plans he has for us, the plans of good and all evil, to give us expected evil. We always quote them. But it's in our hard times. It's in our sad times. Yeah. It's when we don't feel that he's moving. It's when oh. we don't see nothing happening. Do we Have you not known? Uh -huh. Have thou not heard? Well, that the everlasting God, yeah. the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faith is not. Yeah. Right. I come to tell you that God don't wait. He ain't going to move. Yeah. Nothing will move him. Nothing's going to catch him by surprise. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nothing is going to fool him. Yeah. Because he faded not. Uh -huh. The because Bible says thing. that. There's no searching of his understanding. Come on now. That when we don't understand, he knows all about it. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. When we think he's not listening, yes. he's right there. Right there. Uh -huh. He said he inclined his ear to hear us. Uh -huh. He means he, he takes he takes his best with him. He all leans right. over and says, What is my child saying today? Uh -huh. He's not going to forget about you. Yeah. He's not going to turn his ear to you because he faint over and hear what you have to say. All right. He said he give the power to faint. Uh -huh. That means when you're about to faint, he's going to give you something. And today, them that have a mind, he said, he'll increase your strength. Uh -huh. Have you ever been so weak sometimes uh -huh. that you can't make it another day? God, if one more thing happens, I'm not going to be able to make it. Just one more thing. Just, not, just one more, God. I'm about to lose it. But when you're about to lose it, he'll pick you up. He'll let you know it's going to be all right. He'll let you know. Because he increased your strength. Hallelujah. Have anybody ever had some increased strength from the Lord that you felt like you're not going to make it? You feel like things were falling apart, but he comes to put them back together. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, 
Even though you shall faint and be weary. Even you young people, you get faint sometimes. And you get weary. But don't worry. Don't you worry. I've been there. We older people with the gray in our world. Gray in your heart. We've been there. We've been about to faint. But just when we thought that we wasn't going to make it, he came and he strengthened us. He came and he made a way. He said, I'm going to increase your strength. I'm not going to let you faint. Even though you're young, even though you think you ain't going to make it, he said, I'm going to increase your strength. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let you fall. Hallelujah. Even though you're young. Hallelujah. I'm not going to. But then, but then, but then, uh huh. Are y'all that day today? All right. Are y'all that day that can wait upon the Lord yeah. and get your strength re renewed? Yeah. Come on. God said, Are you that day this morning that came in here? We all dressed up and we all look good. But, but behind everything, behind these clothes, behind the hairdo, there's still some fainting going on. There's still All some right. increased strength that we need. Because okay. God knows huh, that when we're going through, that he's going to increase our strength. That he's going to move on our behalf. Hey. That he's going to shake up the foul ground that you're going through. Hallelujah. And he's going to make everything alright. If you just wait on him. Hallelujah. He's going to mount you up as an eagle. Hallelujah. When he said it, that same prophet Isaiah, because Isaiah was the eagle eye prophet, and he could see things into the future. And he said this about God, and God had not even stepped on the scene. And God had gave him revelation of who he was, of how he can increase your strength, and how if you don't know him, that you can know him and when you're about to faint and when you're about to give up. Hallelujah. But he said he was wounded for our transgression. That means the blood, the blood, the blood. And he was bruised. The blood, the blood was bruised for my transgressions because I was guilty. Hallelujah. I was guilty as sin. Hallelujah. But by his stripes, hallelujah, we are healed. It was nothing but the blood. It was
He told them. He said, put the blood on the doorpost. Hallelujah. And the death angel will pass by. That's why the death angel got to pass by you. Because when it sees you, it sees death. I'm a dead woman walking. I'm a dead woman talking. I'm a dead woman leaving. Then it was nothing but the blood. Thank <laughs> you. 